I became the manager of Borussia Dortmund to end Bayern Munich's dominance. But this was never going to be easy. In our first season, Bayern completely outclassed us. But in our second season, after making some very clever transfers, we're finally able to take the fight to them. But just as things were getting better for us, Bayern Munich swooped in and signed our star striker. And that has completely put us in the back foot because we're struggling for goals. In spite of all that, we're still top of the Bundesliga. But unless we find a replacement number nine as soon as possible, I don't think we can compete with Bayern. It's a big episode today. All right, boys, welcome back to another episode of the Dortmund career mode. And it's a big one, boys. You guys know what happened with us in the last one. I still can't believe it. Deadline day and Bayern came in and stole Duvan Zapata. It's, it's so frustrating. We had such a good thing going with him. He was like the man to link up everything in our team and he had to leave. But with the money we've got for him, we've got a budget of 80 million and we need to sign a striker. Otherwise, how are we going to compete? with Bayern. The major problem really is that we've got two months to survive before we can make any signing to improve the team. So it's going to be a game of just waiting until we hit January and that's when we can sign a striker to save our team. It's it's a really tricky situation that Bayern have put us in. But hey, we're top of the league and I intend to keep it that way. Bayern are struggling right now and we've got to take as much advantage as we can. You know what? I don't think there'd be a better time to host the press conference than this because I need your guys' help with Bayern stealing our striker. First one since you can't sign anyone until January I think you should temporarily play Adiemi at striker he, you can then move Hakim Ziyech onto the right and play Reyna at Cam he's genuinely genius don't get me wrong boys I do like Mukoko he's a good striker but is he good enough to lead the line I don't think so not yet so Adiemi striker for a while and having say Hakim Ziyech at right wing that might not be such a bad thing or maybe we try out Nov because this guy's got 91 pace he might end up being a cult hero you never know. We, we, we're going to experiment in this video until January, until we figure out what needs to be done for the striker spot. This next comment could change the series. I think you should sign Robert Lewandowski as he's a former Dortmund player. I know he's old, but he'll give you at least a good season and he's a great goal scorer. The thought of bringing back Robert Lewandowski excites me. 92 finishing, 93 attack positioning. I think he's going to be what Haller was for us. That number nine is going to be in the box doing his thing. Oh my god, this this might be the dream signing. He's 87 rated. He'll give us one good season, which might be all we need to beat Bayern in the Bundesliga. This is it. We beat Bayern with one of the own machines they've created. Lewandowski's a Bayern legend. He has had a Dortmund pass, but I'd say he's more of a Bayern legend. We signed him and beat Bayern Munich to the Bundesliga with him as our number nine would be historic. So we'll see if we can pull this off. I'm not sure if the money is there, but we'll try our best. All right, guys, we can now just focus on the pitch until January, and that's what we're going to do. We need to find out a formation that's going to work. For the next few games, I want to try out now at right wing and at the MH striker and see how that works because this man's got 91 pace. All right, I want to see Nauf in action. Where the hell is he? There he is. Okay, go on. Nauf, come on. Let's see. He's quick, but he feels very slow in terms of turning. Yeah, he's got another chance to prove himself with the pace. There he goes. Bringing it inside, sees the run of Pulisic, off the bar, and he gets in again. That is so lucky from Christian Pulisic. My man says he's taking himself here. 1-0 against Bochum. Pulisic with the goal. He's getting slowly better and better. Oh, Adiemi in these positions is absolutely ruthless. Here he goes, 1v1, slowing it down, and that's in a simple finish from Karim to dream Adiemi. That's this game done. 2-0, I don't see them coming back from this. Moving on to our next game in Nauf. Already went up by one overall just by playing him in one game. We're playing Frankfurt now and they're a tricky opponent. But when Pulisic is back in form, it's not easy nope. for teams to defend. Well, maybe it is because how is he missing that? Instead, we've conceded a penalty and Mario Goetz, a former Dortmund easy. player, is out here storing penalties against us. Okay, we have acres of space to work with and Pulisic does the right thing. Slotting it for Kareem Adeyemi. Making it look easy. We're back in this game. We're not losing. We're not losing in the Bundesliga. Liga. No, no, no. Rafael Guerrero. I see Pulisic making that run. We've got to use that pace he's got. Christian Pulisic now. But he has he got the finish? That's where he lacks. But we still have a chance. Guerrero off the crossbar. And the ending off the post. What is my luck? We have a chance again with Narf, maybe. Hakim Ziyech. I can't believe it. Sadly, this game ends in a one-all draw. We have 
the chances to win this. Without that striker, man, we really are struggling for goals. It's a fact. But hey, we're slowly getting closer and closer until January. So the striker deal will happen. But what I'm worried about is the Champions League because we really aren't in at the best of spots. We've got six points. Liverpool are four points clear of us. If we don't win our next game against Liverpool, Villarreal could well and truly easily out-qualify us. And we can't be having that. So without our number nine, we're going to have to somehow beat Liverpool at home. Otherwise, we could be out of the Champions League. Must win Champions League game and we've got decisions to make. Um, I don't know. I really don't know whether to play Mukoko, Adeyemi or even Malen at striker. I definitely am not a fan of now. He didn't really impress me. I'm thinking, let's try Malen at striker. That might just work. He's got the stats to be a good striker. Remember, he was once a striker for us. Adeyemi at right wing, it just works, especially with the freedom we're, we're, we're gonna give him. So I think let's make it work. One more thing I want to do is Reina. Reina in the Champions League has been unreal. Let's keep that going. Before we get into this must-win Champions League game, if you guys can take a moment and subscribe to the channel, that would be awesome. What is this? What happened to Virgil van Dijk and all the players? They've lost their kits or something. <laughs> Why are they all fridges? I don't get it. Uh, hopefully this fixes itself in game. It does. But you guys need to subscribe. Okay, they're already on the attack. And no, 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 no. Three minutes and Liverpool have taken the lead. This is bad. Remember, if we lose this game, we could be out of the Champions League. Uh, Bayern Munich, why did you have to put us completely in this position? Taking away our striker on deadline day. Uh, they, they've completely put us in the back foot, especially in the Champions League. That's where you need that number nine. But hey, we can't make excuses now. We need to go forward and score, which is exactly what we might be doing. Malin, so close. This is a bit scary. Trent Alexander-Arnold, Coco with the save. No, 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 not again. We can see it again. It's over. It's over. Luis Diaz scores. We're 2-0 down. This is horrendous. This is absolutely horrendous for us. Guys, if we don't get at least a point from this game, I think we're out of the Champions League. We need to score here. But Allison is too good. I think Guerrero is just about onside as he looks for Adiemi. Another good save from Allison. Games like this, you get one goal, and that could literally change everything. Pulisic! Let's Easy. go, Christian Pulisic! No, you silly game. It's offside. Ay, ay, ay. I thought he was on. That's more like it. Look at this space here. Malen. This time, Pulisic surely is onside. And he manages to finish as well. We are creating chances in this game. Don't write us out just yet. Things are looking okay. We're back. In this. Oh no 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 get it away. Oh Alan and the Emmy. Oh, we're back in this. We're back in this in the first half of chess. What a crazy Champions League game. And the Emmy. Right face, right die. Go on, Pulisic. This game is completely turned on its head as Pulisic almost put us into the lead. Rafael Guerrero does a fantastic job there. Cut back. And the Come on. No 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 no. We can't concede after all the effort we've put in. No, 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 we can't. But Liverpool are looking so dangerous. I don't like this. Good save, Kobel. On the attack here, Riddle Baku has made a great run. This could be huge for the club. Cut back. Malen, no space to shoot. Finds its way for Reina. No, Liverpool. Ay, ay, ay. A draw I don't think will be enough. Forget a draw. If this thing carries on like this, we could end up losing ya. Jota. Oh, my God. That was crucial. Look at the space for Christian Pulisic. He's got the pace. Does he have the finish, though? Needs to get it onto his right foot. Struggles. But Adiemi in acres of space. And Kareem Adiemi does not mess up. Let's go, boys. We're leading 3-2. This is it. We win this game. And I think we survive in the Champions League. Could actually score maybe more. Because these guys have committed way too many players forward. Pulisic in the 90th minute could end up killing nope. this game. His finishing is so mid. But that should be it for the game regardless. There you go. We have beaten Liverpool. Oh my days. Look at the stats. We deserved it. We absolutely deserve this. Even without a striker, boys, we've survived the Champions League. And most likely we should be through. It's not done yet because we've got to play Villarreal in the final match day. And that's going to decide whether we go through or not. Meanwhile, we're going to be smashing through a few Bundesliga games. Come on, give me wins. How did we lose our first game of the Bundesliga season again? 
against these random NPCs. All right, then let's at least follow it up with a win against mines. Come on. There you go. That's more like it. We've now dropped down to second in Bundesliga. How are Bayer Leverkusen this good? I don't get it, but slowly, Bayer and Munich are creeping up, and they're just a couple of points off us. <sighs> they're coming again for us. We still got Champions League to focus on. It's now time for the final group stage game as we take on Villarreal. And Emi looks absolutely knackered, boys. So for this one, I'm trying Zietra on the right and Reina at Cam. Let's see how this works. Plus, plus, this is the kind of game where we just need to avoid losing. I kind of want Emre Chan's ability in midfield. As long as we avoid taking an L here against Villarreal, we should be good to qualify for the round of 16. Okay, why are we in this 1v1 situation? I don't like this. We've defended it well and they've gone backwards. But if Villarreal score, that's going to be us out of the Champions League. So we need to survive somehow. We get it away. Chance here, Siege. Looking for Pulisic. As always, super rapid. No passing options there. Pulisic gets taken out. Obviously, that's going to be a free kick. Oh, 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 look in the position for a free kick. Who's the best free kick taker at the club right now? It's either Guerrero, but I'm going to trust Hakim Ziyech. He's just, he's just got something about him. Let's take this one with Hakim Ziyech. Decent power and everything. Can he call it in? Ziyech. Oh, that is brilliant. In the Champions League, Hakim Ziyech with an absolute beauty. The goal descenders through to the knockouts. And there you go. It's that Ziyech free kick that guarantees our spot in the knockouts. That is such a relief. I know we didn't top the group, but second is fine. My big worry was that we, before we even sign a striker, we'd be kicked out of the Champions League, but we managed to fight through, and we're going to be in the knockouts. And thankfully, by then, the knockouts are usually in Feb. We should have enough time to bring in a quality striker. Until then, we keep winning in the Bundesliga. This is a good result. But this next game that we've got could genuinely decide the title race. We're playing against Leverkusen. Three points above us. They're unbeaten. If we give them their first L of the season, I think we're right back in the mix. Bayern are kind of stuttering and we can't show weakness while that's happening. I still don't know what's the best way to play without a top class striker. I think Malen up top worked really well for the team, so we're going to stick with that. This is first versus second in the Bundesliga. We need to come out on top. Ziyech, oh, I love it when Baku runs like that down the wings. It's absolutely brilliant. Oh, come on. The cross was such a letdown. Rafael Guerrero, and look at the space here for Malen, who's got the space to break through. And in the striker position, Malen, when called upon, has almost always delivered. We take the lead in this race for the Bundesliga. 1-0. These guys have the craziest formation, like a 3-3-4 or something ridiculous like that. It's so easy to break through. But yeah, when they're attacking, things can get a bit nervy. But so far, the guys at the back have done a great job. Well, maybe not there. St. Maximin with a chance looking for Martial. These guys have got a couple of good Frenchmen, but Martial lazy getting caught offside like that. Look at how easy it is to break through their defense, man. Honestly, the space for Adiemi, crazier, looks for Ziyech. Ziyech gonna square easy. that is the simplest goal you'll ever see. And the composure there from Ziyech for the cutback loss. Guys, I don't want to say this, but Xabi Alonso's Leverkusen might have the worst tactics I've ever seen in, in FIFA at least, because bro, it's never been this easy to carve out a team. Look at this. Ziyech is waiting. Now I've just got Adiemi making a run. Boom. He's through on goal. And he scores as well. This is ridiculous. It's first versus second in the Bundesliga. And we've made this look like a Sunday league game so far. And the game actually ends up finishing 6-0. This is a statement. Without a striker, we're able to get results like this. Can you imagine? This is our season. We have one more game before the January transfer window in the Bundesliga, which hopefully we can also win. Yes, let's go. And so, yes, we're done with the month of December. We're entering January. It's the halfway point of the Bundesliga season. And we are top of the league. Three points cleared of Leverkusen. Seven cleared of Bayern Munich. This is our season. And most importantly, it's time to use the cash we've got and replace Zapata. It's time to bring in a striker. And in all honesty, I think I decided the striker I wanted long ago. For me, it's got to be Robert Lewandowski. I'm just feeling good vibes. He might not have the pace like he used to. But we saw with Zapata what a striker that's good in the air. That's a, a poacher can bring. And that's exactly Robert Lewandowski. Lewandowski. I want to bring in a former Dortmund player and it'll also hurt Bayern a bit in this quest for glory that we get one of their legends to destroy them. I'm doing this. Oh, look at that. His asking price has gone down. We can get him for under 50 million. Guys, if we can negotiate with Barcelona for an under 50 million deal, this is even better. 50 million's my starting offer. Come on, Xavi. Accept it. 51.8? That is a bargain. That is an absolute bargain, boys. For Robert Lewandowski. I know he's 35, but if he gives us so 
solid six months, we could end up winning the league with Dortmund, toppling Bayern Munich, and also maybe even the Champions League. Who knows? All right, crucial squad draw for Robert Lewandowski. I'm not even surprised the two-year deal. That's fine by me. No release clause or anything of that. It's it's done. We'll give him the 25 goal bonus that he wants because I kind of doubt he'll get there, but he's willing to take a massive pay cut. Robert Lewandowski, this is it. We've just signed him. Welcome back to Borussia Dortmund, Robert Lewandowski. This is historic. I can feel the vibes already. I can't wait to see him score a goal for Borussia Dortmund once again. Let me know in the comments if y'all think this was a good signing. I know everybody's going to be like, he's old and everything, but we've got Lewandowski as the veteran. Mukoko as a youngster to learn from him. I think it's perfect. With that, boys, I think I'm genuinely done with my transfers. I believe in the squad we've built. I think in the, in the summer, we made some massive, massive transfers all around. It's complete. This team, I think, has what it takes to win the Champions League. I genuinely feel that, but we'll see how things go. Keeping the focus game by game. The Bundesliga is back, and it's time to see if we can get Robert Lewandowski his returning goal. This is where he thrives. Lewandowski in the box almost went for it. Support Lewandowski provides it, and there's the finish from Robert Lewandowski. He's back at Dortmund celebrating and scoring. You'll love to see that. There you go. Robert Lewandowski's return goal gets us the win. And we follow that up with another win against Cologne. We now have one last game before the Champions League round of 16. I want to see Lewandowski keep up his form because we'll need him in the knockouts. We have a penalty in this game and you know who's taking penalties. Borussia Dortmund now. It's got to be Robert Lewandowski. Got an interesting run up and I'm going to go left. Robert Lewandowski. Lewandowski, not call him Robert, but anyways, Robert Lewandowski gets his goal again in the Bundesliga. He's a goal machine. Talk about being a goal machine as he's through on goal now. Another chance to score. Powerful effort. Save this time. The Emmy. And the Emmy. Oh, that is brilliant. Lewandowski doesn't have voice anymore. But, you know, playoff. But he does have Adi Emmy and a teammate like him. Always helpful. And that's how this game ends. Perfect warm up for the Champions League. And so after all of that, we're still top of the Bundesliga by four points. Leverkusen have fallen apart. Bayern Munich are 10 points behind us. This is our season. It could also be our season in the Champions League. Who are we facing in the round of 16? Ender. Uh, much better than a team like Real Madrid and Man City. So I'll absolutely take that. And it's time to play this game. I'm absolutely gassed. I think I'm going to go with the same logic. Reina in the Champions League. It just works. He's a bit of a more workhorse in that midfield. So there you go. That's going to be my team against Inter. These guys have signed Rash Smith -Rowe. No. Araujo as well. Bro, Inter have a team. Oh, the boys are warming up for the Champions League round of 16. I'm worried, man. I'm worried because I feel this season, we're like a proper dark horse in this competition. Let's make a statement here. They have Marcus Rashford, who's literally one of the world's best players right now. What a ball out wide for Smith Rowe. Rashford again. I am scared. Bakud as well. Goes Adiemi. Absolutely rapid there in that instance. Chipping in for Pulisic. No Pulisic. First touch let him down. McAllister looking for Pulisic. I see a good ball in for Adi Emi nope. in the Champions League. No. That should have been 1-0. This is worrisome. This is worrisome. No, 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 no. Not what we wanted. Inter Milan take the lead in the Champions League. We're going to have to work really hard here. An instant goal would be really good, but there's no movement. Robert Lewandowski, we needed to make the run. He has made the run. Tough angle. Can't squeeze anything from there. No, this is bad. Not again. We survived there. Oh, my days. Wait a minute, guys. Why is Emre Chan playing centre-back? What? Where's Schlotterbeck? Where's Schlotterbeck, guys? Is he injured? I'm confused. I am really confused. No way. That is so lucky that Kobil was right there. We could have easily conceded. Where's Schlotterbeck, man? I can't believe he's not at the club right now. Like... Has he left us? Did he have a release clause? So many answers, but for now, focus is on the pitch. As Lewandowski has a chance, cut back for Reyna. How did we not equalize there? I think I'm bringing on Hakim Ziyech for the rest of this game. We need a bit of magic. No, no, Marcus Rashford is too good. That goal has killed us. It's over. How are we going to come back from this? Marcus Rashford is unbelievable. You know what? We can't give up. We really can't give up. If we can get a goal in the next 20 minutes, there is hope. Lewandowski smartly opening up some space. We're moving the ball around nicely. Adiemi, Kareem Adiemi, let's go. That is what we needed. 76 minutes of this game. Adiemi steps up. We're back in the tie. We're not done yet. Hakim Ziyech off the bench, fresh with the stamina. He's really doing damage here as he looks for a cross at the back post for Adiemi. That is unlucky, but a penalty? For what? I'll take it. Absolutely, I'll take it. I think there was a push on Kareem Adiemi. I'm not sure. Let's take a look. Yup. 
Oh, that is so harsh. Adiemi went down on his own. The referees. I think we've paid the referees. But Robert Lewandowski has a chance now to score a penalty. Can he put this one top bins? Oh, you bet he can. Lewandowski in a big game. Getting us right back in it. No way we can actually score another goal. Oh my god. What? Robert Lewandowski has just rushed into Milan hopes with that. I'm celebrating with the team as well. I have no words. There's, there's our money's worth signing Robert Lewandowski. How he pulled that off? That's what a ridiculous number nine gets you. A game winner gets you. Lewandowski has just done that in the Champions League. I don't see how Inter survived this. This is brutal. What an unbelievable comeback, man. The job is not done yet, though, but we're close. After the game, it's time to just do the research. Where's Lotterbeck gone? I think he's left the club. And I didn't even realize, maybe during the window, I wasn't paying attention and his release clause got paid. I don't think so. That's the only thing that can explain it. Where's Lotterbeck? Can't spell his name even. There he is, Nico Schlotterbeck. Liverpool. Liverpool of all teams have stolen him away. And I didn't even realize. Oh my God, this is going to make life difficult for us. You know what? Now is not the time to complain. That's why we've kept Emre Chan still in the team. And honestly, I think now is the time to try and convert Emre Chan to a centre-back. Can he do that? Let's see. Emre Chan centre-back. Will that even work? Two weeks, he can become a centre-back. Very useful, because he's going to be playing in that position for us. Meanwhile, we're going to start smashing through some Bundesliga games. Let's keep up winning. And that's exactly what we're doing. A cheeky win against Wolfsburg as well. And let's see if we can win our next couple of games. One down, two down. We keep winning in the Bundesliga. Can't believe with those recent results we're basically, what, nine points clear of anyone else? This is looking like our season. And the good thing all this does is it gives us the ability to focus in the Champions League. Let's complete the job against Inter. Honestly, guys, this second leg is all about surviving. And that's why I think I'm making some changes. Simakan's fitness is so bad. Otherwise, I would have loved to play him. Ah, okay, I guess we're going to have to just run with this team. Where's Emre Can at that center back? I still can't believe, like, you know, Schlotterbeck's not here. I think what I'm going to do is bench Robert Lewandowski for this game. Away from home and he pays. Yo, we go, boys. We gotta survive this game and we'll be in a quarterfinal. Oh no, loose ball falling to Marcus Rashford. No, that was close. So far, we've survived for 60 minutes and with the pace of Pulisic, we could actually end up scoring a goal here. Christian Pulisic, what a chance. Hunt back. No, I completely wasted it. We might still have a chance here. Adiemi, fresh shot. No, what a save. We're keeping the ball nicely, which is what we need to do in this position. But we've broken through. Bullish agent, let's go. 4-2 on aggregate. I do not see a way back for Inter now. Surely this is it. We're knocking out Inter from the Champions League. A few moments later. Why have they got this much space, boys? We don't want this to happen. Cobalt saves. Clear it away. No, no, no. It's going to be a pen. It's going to be a pen. I went sliding in to block the challenge instead of gifted into a way back into this game. If there was ever a time for you to make a save, Cobal. Oh, you went the right way. Lautaro was just perfect. Reminded me of this World Cup penalty versus Netherlands. But thankfully, nothing more from Inter. And we've done it. The job is done. We just about knock out Inter from the Champions League. And on we go to the quarterfinals. Next episode with Dortmund, we could create history with them and maybe win the Bundesliga as well as the Champions League. We'll see if that's possible.